Hi, my name is Drea Aguirre. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the digital coach for the Near Northeast region. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between posting student work and assigning an activity. So when I post student work, typically if I'm in a traditional in-person classroom, I would take pictures of what my students are doing during class, and it would capture a typical school day for my kiddos so that parents can see and they can feel like they are a more active member in their child's experience in school. So for example, if I was having my kiddos do station work, I would have probably one person from my station's groups take a picture of what they were doing and post onto Seesaw um, because students are able to post their own student work. Another way that I would use this is if I went on a field trip with my kiddos and wanted to highlight some of the great things we were doing during that field trip, I could post that student work and my parents would be able to see what we're doing during our field trip. Now, during uh, this remote period time, one of the ways that I can use post-student work is for additional enrichment. So let's say that you know it's not part of my regular lesson, but it's an extra thing that my kiddos can do that relates to the lesson, but isn't a mandatory assignment or activity that they need to do. Something like if they have free time, if you wanna continue or extend the learning, here's something they could do. I could send this out in some sort of announcement, like uh, our daily challenge is collecting three different colored leaves. My kiddos can then go if they choose, collect their leaves and take a picture of student work. I used to use these additional activities as um, incentives. My kiddos would get badges and they were super excited about it. So that's one way you can use post student work in this remote environment. Another way is to be able to provide an ad hoc assignment. So let's say that I have created my lesson for the day and I get halfway through and realize that I need to collect some sort of data that I didn't originally plan for. Maybe the conversation went a different way or I decided that I wanted to have my students work on a collaborative slide deck of some sort. I could have them post their student work or they could share it with me and I could post the student work. And so that way I don't have to have made the activity before the lesson started. I can say, oh, you know what? We're going to hop into our Google Drive and we're going to write a paragraph on what we just talked about as a class. The, great discussion that we've had, you're now going to write an opinion piece. I didn't have that planned, so they can hop onto their uh, G Suite and go ahead and post their student work as a link that way. When I am assigning an activity, those are things that I have planned out. So my activities are made in advance. Those are, I'm going to think about them in remote learning as uh, the assignment for the day. So that's going to be what I'm grading, what I'm looking for. And both that student work and activities will show up in that student's feed. Parents will have access to it so they can see exactly what their kids are doing. If you need any sort of assistance thinking through when to use student work versus an activity or coming up with ideas for your class in a remote environment, in Seesaw, I want you to go ahead and reach out to your digital coach and they will be able to give you one-on-one -on -one support with this.